Yes, the Wallabies heading to Pretoria. And this morning, a Sports Sunday exclusive because we can reveal the Wallaby squad, Eddie Jones' squad, to take on the Springboks. In fact, the first few tests of the Rugby Championship. Let's have a look at it. Um, Drew, as you look down the names there, is there anything that jumps out at you? Uh, well, uh, immediately, uh, the co-captains, Michael Hooper and James Slipper, two players with immense experience that we will be steering the ship. So that probably speaks to those both being uh, older guys, but also won't probably play every every test match, but also just players that connect to, to the wider group as well. So that's an interesting one for me. A uh, couple of uh, rookies as well. Tom Hooper is there. Matt Fesler, the hooker from Queensland, is there. And then at the other... Oh, Richie Arnold up the yeah, top Dylan there. Peach the as brother well. of um, Dylan Peach. But then you've got Quade Cooper. So at the other end, Quade coming back from the injury, there's a nice mix of the old and the new. Yeah, absolutely. And you, you need to have that amongst the squad. Like I said, we just spoke about Hooper and Slipper, but to have someone like Quade Cooper in the playmaking role that's got that experience and has matured through the course of his career, to, to be in the position he is now, to be wanted by Eddie Jones in a World Cup year is, um, you know, is really significant. Then you also got, you know, of course, Eddie Jones, he always loves these rugby league players. Suliasi Vunavalu finds himself in that squad as well. So it's an exciting squad. Speaking of Eddie Jones, here he is, the Wallaby coach. Eddie, thanks for joining us on Sports Sunday. Uh, my understanding is you're still in a meeting around 9 o'clock this morning, still kind of discussing maybe a couple of uh, contentious positions, contentious selections. Uh, what were the most difficult ones for you over the last couple of months? Well, it's probably one of the hardest squads I've had to select. Uh, yeah, we've been lucky to have two camps before the selection, you know, comprised of the guys who didn't make the, the playoffs in the, in the Super Rugby. And I've been really impressed by the work ethic and attitude of the players. And therefore, there was a number of positions that were tight. The back row was tight. Uh, standoff was tight, halfbacks was tight, so there was a few of them, mate. So there's been a few sleepless nights. I'd imagine being able to make that call to a player to let them know that they've made the squad, or on, on the flip side, that they haven't made the squad, can be you know, one of the highs of being a coach, but also one of the tougher moments. Were, were there any phone calls that you had to make that really stood out for it being, you know, the, the player being absolutely elated or, or, or really disappointed? Well, the one thing I know, mate, when you tell them they're not in the squad, they're all disappointed. Yeah. Um, it's one of the, the hardest parts of the job. So, and you can never... It never feels good, doesn't feel good for the player, doesn't feel good for the coach. But it's the reality of, uh, of, of selection for a national team. You can only have so many players. And, and we're lucky in Australia to have such depth, you know, and, and that's something we've, we've really got to work continually hard to improve is the depth of our, our players because we know that in the Rugby Championship and in the World Cup will have at least 20% injury rate um, and there'll be opportunities for players who have missed out. Eddie, just looking at this team, you've got the overseas players, Marika Corabetti, uh, you've got Richie Arnold there, um, who I think we can realistically term a bolter. Um, you've got Will Skelton as well. Uh, did you... Well, yeah, there's all this discussion around the, the Gitto mitchell clause. Uh, it was... Was there open slather for you? Did you get what you wanted? Uh, yeah, I'm still trying to work out why it's the Gitto law and not the Drew Mitchell law. Um, <laughs> so if you, if you can enlighten me on that, please do. Just because Giddy is a bigger profile, mate. That's all uh, it is. <laughs> <laughs> no, all we, all we tried to do was pick the best squad, mate. But we're also cognizant of the fact that it's important for our best players to play in Super Rugby. So we've, we've tried to balance that out, but certainly, you know, I can sit here comfortably and say that we've picked the best squad to represent Australia. And Eddie, you've picked two players to lead that squad, James Slipper and Michael Hooper. What have you saw, seen in them in terms of their leadership qualities to, to take this team on? Yeah, last, last Wednesday, mate, I went out and spent the day at Sydney Swans with John Longmire, um, and they've got a tradition of having co-captaincy, you know, they've had up to eight captains, they've had three captains and I just wanted to delve down into the, the area of the, the advantages and disadvantages and I think with, with slips and, and hoops, we cover the range of the squad, you know, both have got a slightly different approach to, to leadership, both have got a slightly different approach to the way they play the game and I think together they can be a really strong captaincy group.
Eddie, thanks so much for joining us. Uh, good to catch up and you know that we will wish you all the very best of luck against South Africa at Loftus in a fortnight's time. Uh, thanks very much, guys. Appreciate your support.